Should I sell my home in 2020? That's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my seller series. And in this series, I like to go over tips and tricks to help you sell your home fast. 2020 started the housing market off very strong. Um, the housing market took a little plummet during the stay-at-home orders. However, once the stay-at-home orders lifted, the real estate market just went bananas it went absolutely cray cray okay <laughs> so there are a couple factors to take into consideration if you're thinking about selling your home in 2020 i'm going to go over three reasons why you should and then i'm going to go over three reasons why you shouldn't so let's get started home sellers have a few choices they can put their house on the market amid this craziness or put their plans off indefinitely the decision you make as a homeowner must be based off of the, your current situation. So first I'm gonna go over the top three reasons why you should sell your home in 2020. Number one, interest rates are expected to remain low. With these low interest rates, buyers have flooded the market, which is kind of a conundrum because we have such low inventory. However, for sellers with a low inventory it means less competition on your end meaning that your home may also get multiple offers and sell for top dollar. So since the interest rates are low, take advantage of the low interest rates and in selling your home for 2020. Number two, you have a higher negotiation power. Because there are less homes on the market, you may have higher negotiation power with a potential buyer. With fewer alternatives to choose from and ever rising competition, Buyers are more willing to negotiate because they don't want to lose out on their dream home. And so they're ready to make offers now. And most of the buyers that are out there are loaded with their buying power. They are pre-approved, ready to buy. So let's take advantage of that. Especially with the current situation of what's going on in the world, desperate buyers are ready to find a home and settle down. So we're going to take advantage of that desperation and negotiate a phenomenal deal on your home. Number three, prices are still high. Home values have been on the rise for quite some time. However, with the uncertainty of what is going on right now across the world, home sellers are worried that the prices might drop and they may very well drop. So what I've been saying in all my videos is now is the time to sell while the home prices are high. You know, who doesn't want to make extra equity, right? <laughs> now is the time to sell. Sell, 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 now, now, now. And now I'm gonna go over the three reasons why you should not sell in 2020. And the number one reason is you just refinanced. <laughs> why refinance and then sell? Uh, that doesn't make sense, right? and hopefully by refinancing your home has eased your mortgage payments and made your mortgage payments a lot less. But if you're thinking about selling, then don't refinance, okay? <laughs> Why take a ding on your credit? Uh, it, just, it just doesn't make any sense. And number two, you're worried about affording your next purchase. So if you're thinking about selling, but you also want to buy a new home, that could be a problem, especially if you're on furlough or you're collecting unemployment and you don't know when your job is gonna start back up. That's silly. And also, actually, lenders won't lend to you anyway. So that's another reason why you cannot sell right now for 2020. But if you are thinking about buying and selling, then it's important that you talk to a lender to see if it's even possible. But the caveat is you have to be employed and you have to be employed at your current job for at least two years. So if you are thinking about selling and then buying let me know if you need a lender that I can refer you to um, 
And you also need to check your credit score. It may not even be a feasible option. And number three, you're not willing to negotiate in price. A lot of sellers are set on making a certain amount of equity when they list their home. And certain sellers are not willing to back down on their asking price. There's a catch to that though. If you overprice your home, it's gonna be sitting on the market for a very long time. And when a home sits on the market for a long time, it becomes stale. And that stale home, buyer's gonna think there's something wrong with it, why isn't it selling? It's because you didn't price it right in the beginning. Oh, speaking of which, I actually have four points why you shouldn't sell in 2020. And my fourth point is if you have tenants in your home, if you're a landlord and you have rental properties, now's not a good time to sell, especially with the government orders. Um, even CDC got involved about the um, rental moratorium. It's just silly because no one can view your home. You can't get in there to do inspections because of the rights of the renters. So if you have rental income and you want to sell that rental income, you can't sell it right now. Why list it, put it on the market, let it sit on the market for a potential person to buy it, to take over those tenants that aren't paying. It just doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> do not list your home. If you have a renter in place. That's the best tip I can give you in this video. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying my seller series. I felt that this series was important, especially what's going on right now in the Las Vegas real estate market and why it's such a great time if you're a seller and you're thinking about selling. I hope you're listening to my advice and my tips about how we can get your home ready to sell, to sell it fast, and to make you some money. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about this awesome Las Vegas Valley, real estate, communities, you name it, I cover it. Thank you so much for watching today, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.